After lots of work, we're ready to test our plumbing drain system. Which is very exciting, and it will probably be more exciting to watch if there's a bunch of leaks or some catastrophes happen, because with us, you never know. Everything is double checked, so there shouldn't be any problems. Drain test number three. Third time's the charm. And we're hoping for no leaks. Oh, got a leak. Where? No! The snow is making everyone a little crazy. I'm hoping that the... Suffice the infect... You didn't know that. It might belt the me it might belt the <laughs> <laughs> but But we're staying warm. Oh yeah. Wow, I almost burnt my face off. <laughs> Did you? Just <laughs> out. It's got a mustache trim. And doing whatever it takes to get it right. How is it being right next to these fumes for you? No nickelback yet. So that's, <laughs> that's good. I haven't started singing. Seriously. What's up guys, and good morning. It is a bad day. No. It is a pretty bad day. Um, luck is not in our favor. We were basically hoping that the snow was gonna dry up and melt, and that the roads would be clear so that BMC could bring us our lumber on Friday. Today is Thursday. Uh, yesterday, it snowed again. So. There is a lot of snow on the roads. It's not gonna melt by tomorrow. It might melt by like Monday or Tuesday, so that's kind of like what I'm banking on right now, but right now it's looking pretty grim. We got our work cut out for us, but today's gonna be a fun day in the snow. Where do you think you're going? Hey, Leo, are you having fun? Stay with the real winter gear. Hopefully today I can stay warm. It's about 25 degrees out there today. Just a dusting. <laughs> we were only supposed to get two inches. Looks like a little more than that. Yeah. So based on how the roads were for you driving in this morning, can BMC deliver our lumber tomorrow? No. <laughs> just no hesitation. Absolutely not. <laughs> the road that we live on is definitely not a main road. So I always know that like our road is the worst out of all the roads it takes to get up to our house. So sometimes, you know, try to stay positive, have high hopes. Maybe the rest of the mountain is clean and clear of snow. I don't know. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> when the snow doesn't melt off of the vehicles, it's not melting off of the road. Yeah. And so look at the forerunner. What forerunner? <laughs> Exactly. It's camouflage. <laughs> uh, basically today I think we're gonna try and get the like the stringers framed up for our little platform that's gonna hold the furnace and the water heater. Okay. And then once we kind of get that like sussed out and figured out where it's gonna be, we'll know where we can actually put our floor drain that's gonna connect to the plumbing system. We'll be able to basically do the rest of the plumbing for the kitchen drain and the floor drain and get it all tied together. And then we'll be done with the drain system in the main part of the garage. All right. We might be able to do all that today. Are you all done? You wanna go inside? So Lika is about two uh, and Frank is almost six, which is so crazy because in my mind, he'll just always be my little puppy. But you can definitely tell he's starting to enjoy the finer things in life, like a warm couch instead of a cold, snowy play session outside. This maniac. <laughs> this maniac, on the other hand, will play in the snow all day long, <laughs> even by herself. Go get her. Be gentle with Frank, hey buddy. It's okay. I'm gonna let her play outside a little bit longer and I'm gonna let Frank inside and enjoy some quality couch time. Will you plug in the yellow extension cord right there? Just throw that whole bundle up in here. 
job. Perfect throw. All right. No! Attempt number two. Got him. Perfect. Yay! All right, we're dried in. Perfect. So basically, now we're gonna be like a big weather balloon or something. Gather all the heat or like a hot air balloon and the heat is gonna come through here. All the carbon monoxide is gonna like droop off of this platform and go downstairs, so we don't have to be worried about that at all. But all the heat should hopefully stay up here. And as long as we don't run out of propane, we'll be nice and warm. So if you're downstairs, you'll die of frostbite and carbon monoxide poisoning. No, because those giant 10 by 10 foot doors ah, are gonna let all the fresh open. air in that you could ever want. The latest update on our garage doors is that they won't be delivered until Thanksgiving. So we've got some time a left, month a month, until uh, we can actually be warm in this place. Oh yeah. I almost burnt my face off. Did you? Just about. <laughs> it's got a mustache trim. <laughs> I think we have one piece of 4x8 Advantech that's gonna go here, and it's under a foot of snow. Excellent. So we have to wait for that to thaw, or melt, or whatever you wanna call it. So we wanted to get the stringers assembled, and then we're just gonna build all the plumbing right now. Perfect. And then once the plumbing is done, We'll shovel? We'll probably call it a day. Okay. <laughs> it is warming up in here. The only downside to plasticking off the openings and turning on the candle and like trying to make it as dried in as possible is when we start to use the glue for plumbing. Whew, it is strong. <laughs> How are your knees doing? Uh, they're, they're about 35 years old. So <laughs> Almost 36. Not doing that good. <laughs> Not meant to be sitting on like that, that's for sure. <laughs> so forgiveness together is bases in between. This is pretty. Like that? Yeah. How is it being right next to these fumes for you? Doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no nickel bag yet. So that's, <laughs> that's good. I haven't started singing, so. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. They brought me to places I've never been But you can walk through this world without a few punches upon you Up here in this little uh, piggyback cap eaves up here <sighs> There is not a lot of space so you can't like climb up in here and, and move around Luckily we were able to get these 10 foot sections of pipe up into this space and we kind of have to do it again, and it was very difficult last time, but it is really hot up here because the heater is heating up this space really well, making it really nice and toasty up here at the top of the roof, which is really hard to work because it's super hot. But uh, we just gotta drill two holes in the fascia out here, send our two pipes out there, and then get the ends glued together here, and basically we can test it for leaks. Wow! which is very exciting. And it will probably be more exciting to watch if there's a bunch of leaks or some catastrophes happen, because with us, you never know. What do you mean? That's the javelin throw. Yes. You grab it? I can't. Ah. 
The movie Liar Liar yeah. came out 25 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. How does that make you feel? Pretty dang old. It makes me feel old. <laughs> it's a good movie, though. Alright, so the short one. We're going at the top. Way too much slope here. It's a vent, right? I thought it doesn't matter. That's true. It's just for air. Right. It is for air, you're right. But we've done it. All right. Hey. Hey. Um, They're secured, supported, glued. Oh, nothing is supported. I need to put three more legs on these things and then put the plumber's tape to hold them all down. Okay. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we could be plumbers. Yeah, we are plumbers. <laughs> There's crack hanging out around here, though. <laughs> no. Full onesies. My crack is <laughs> super sweaty and hidden right now. Give <laughs> me <laughs> that drill. Ooh, baby. That's a nice fit. <laughs> so after the strapping is when we can have a hot cocoa break? It's a full-fledged construction site, honey. Is that okay that it's touching the roof there? Probably not. Give <laughs> <laughs> me that drill. Should have the form of bracing. I gotta do more strapping. I'm a strapping young man. <laughs> I'm strapping old man on it too. Didn't even care enough to be this mess. Vent drain system finito. Complete. <laughs> but we don't know because, you know, we completed the drain system on the house at least three times. This is just the first attempt. I think we are just powering through and trying to get as much done on the drain system as possible today. They have a little bit of spray foam to do. Everything else is braced, strapped, and basically ready to be tested. Wait, no spray foam? You're gonna do that later? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm scared. Should be. This is a really big moment. I know. We have had really bad luck with testing drain systems in the past. Hopefully we have learned from our mistakes. Supposedly. Oh boy. Doesn't sound like a leak. Thanks for building my pumping platform here. <laughs> That's cute. It's not tall. It's not tall enough. <laughs> no. Our plugs in. Yep. I think so. We've got a uh, shower drain plug, toilet obviously is sealed up, bathroom sink, kitchen sink, floor drain. I think we got it all, but uh, it's only one way to find out. All right, go ahead and open that up. Mittens off first. All the way? Just whatever. I thought the water was going to explode all over me. That's, that will not happen. It's happened before. <laughs> So now we wait for 20 minutes. It always seems like it's gonna be this big, like exciting thing. And then it's like always anticlimactic. Cause it's like, oh, open it up. And then it starts filling with water. And then it's like, all right, now we wait. And then uh, by the time it fills all the way up and water's coming out the top, then we find all the leaks. Where's the level at right now? It's kind of hard to gauge. Uh, it's down in the standpipe, I think still. Oh, you can hear it? Yeah. You can look in the bathroom in here. Oh! 
Oh. We just hit the we just hit this level. Yeah. So good. Oh, I hear it creaking. Oh no! Oh, I don't it's like right that here. sound. That creak is just the weight. <gasps> Alright, go look out the window. We start spewing out of there any second. Alright, there we go. What are the spurting noises? I don't know, it's scary. Oh, got a leak. Where? No! On the standpipe. There it is, that nice, nice little drip. Okay, how about all of our bed fitting? I'm gonna give it a minute. Dang, that is so annoying. <laughs> this is like the most pain in the butt fitting possible to have a leak in. <laughs> this three inch 45 right here is literally the biggest pain in the butt fitting we could, we could even possibly have. It's the only leak so far. And it is the only leak. I'm happy that it's the only leak, but I'm not happy that it's leaking. We almost got 100%. Actually, I shouldn't say anything because there could be a couple more leaks that spring up and we don't want that. So far, it's all dry. So that one over there to the bell. We fly right up the valley. Looks pretty good. I'm happy and disappointed at the same time. <laughs> I really would have liked to have gotten it on the first track. I know. But so we're close, though. really close, yeah. So close, you know. The next, most annoying Next, we're going to flood this place. Stop saying that. <laughs> we're going to wait until I got the Tacoma downstairs. <laughs> and then we're really going to let it go. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> don't even joke about that. Overall, though, great success. Great success. Good job. It's exciting. But tomorrow we can fix that one fitting and then maybe start plumbing the rest of the plumbing. Cool. Just moving right along. Happy day. All right, guys, it has been a long day. And now that Allie and I have gotten showered and gotten cleaned up, and while we leave for the night, even though Leo is playing the drums in the background, there is not gonna be anybody here, just the dogs and our Simply Safe system keeping the house safe and secure. And today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. We've been using Simply Safe for years. We installed their system in Terry, around our property during construction, at Mountain Made Vans, and as soon as our home was built, we put it in our house as well. Welcome to Simply Safe. With a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, you always know what's going on in and outside your home. Order it online and install it yourself, and it all ties into your keypad and home base. There's no safe like Simply Safe. So if you've been on the fence about getting a security system, we highly recommend Simply Safe. We absolutely love it, and it is so easy to set up. They ship everything to your door. You can set it up in less than 30 minutes. And honestly, it's really nice to be able to check in and watch all the cameras when we're remote. If you guys are interested in Simply Safe, you guys can check them out right now and you can get up to 40% off your security system during their biggest sale of the year. So you can click the link in our description or go to simplysafe.com slash Trent and Allie to customize yours today. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Now we are gonna hit the road. It's as easy as that. See you guys in the morning. Green cup in. Yeah, Leo. Out. Take it out. Put it back in. In. Very nice. Ooh. What's up? You look good in construction clothes. Thank you. That's my natural habitat. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Well, this morning. Some uh, tires got delivered for our new truck. Cool. And so I've got to drive down into the valley and drop our truck off. They said it's about a six to seven hour wait. What? Without an appointment. Oh. And the next available appointment is next Thursday or something, and today's Friday. So he said, if you come drop it off in the morning, I should have it done by end of day tomorrow. So okay. I'm gonna go drop my truck off. Brandon's gonna pick me up. 
And then I think we're going to go to Peterson's, probably get a water heater, get all the PEX stuff that we need. Oh boy. My only advice is to have Dean on speed dial. Dean has nothing to do with it. <laughs> well, don't call me. <laughs> I mean, we do need Dean to come put in a furnace, but uh, we can't really heat the space with the furnace until the doors are on it. Anyway, heading down into the valley. It's 16 degrees out here and uh, every single window is frozen and uh, at least this truck warms up a lot quicker so gas engines which this truck is a gas engine they warm up way quicker than diesels and uh, so it'll get warm quickly and the heater will come on fast but like the leather feels frozen the uh, truck dropped off they're getting the tires put on it the guy yesterday said oh it's a six to seven hour wait and then I dropped Stretching. it up now and the guy said uh, yeah we'll probably have it done in about two hours so it's whatever when we're done for the day and Brandon's heading home I'll just have him drop me back off at the truck but we are uh, gonna grab some coffee really quick and then we're heading to Peterson's which is basically like the Costco of plumbing parts I'm really excited to go get all the stuff that we need to finish all of our cold and hot water plumbing I'll just let you know we're just a couple of idiots that are trying to do everything ourselves. Narrow streets and dusty roads I've lived on for far too many years. I'm gonna get the same one that I have at home. We did our best. We got basically everything except for the water heater. The water heater that's gonna be required in that attic space has to be short. I think it's gonna need to be a power vent. There's just basically a lot going on in that little space. I think we're going to Home Depot. We're gonna go get some more parts. I'll take my first step to where I'm bound And like an arrow I will soar through the air I'll take you with me from all right, this place I think we have got it figured out. We've got all of our conduit here, a couple of breakers, some glue, uh, basically everything we need except for the wire. And they don't have the wire here, so we are gonna go to CED and see if they have the wire and hopefully they do we can be on our way Alright guys, while Trent and Brandon have been really busy today getting so much done all over the valley, I have been in meetings all morning answering emails. <sighs> I'm super excited. We're building out a transit, which will be the first transit officially for Mountain Made Vans. We all have experience with multiple types of vans, but it's just so much fun embarking on a new layout, a new van, a new build with a new customer. It just like gets me rejuvenated and like excited all over again every time we start this process so that's been super fun but now i think these guys are pulling up with a ton of pipe we're gonna get to some plumbing yesterday there was a pinhole leak in this fitting right here mm. so brandon and i went with the cory bead method now <laughs> this is a, a running joke that we have brandon used to work at a plumbing place and there was a guy there named cory 
And on every one of his glue fittings, after he glued them together, he would just gob glue around the outside of the fitting. And some of the people that worked there called it a quarry bead. And that's like laying a bead of glue along the outside of the fitting. So you can see that there's a, an extremely large amount of blue glue on the outside of this pipe. That's a quarry bead. Now, we don't know Cory. We have no idea who Cory is, but we're putting his method to the test right now. I think that's fine because a pinhole leak like that, I would be fine if there was a pinhole leak like that because it was in the top of the pipe. It's never even going to see water, but the inspector would not be okay with it. So to suffice the inspector, we did a Cory bead and hopefully it holds water and there's no drips and no leaks. I'm about to hook this hose up and we're going to find out. Drain test number two. <laughs> Let it rip. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, once it fills the whole system up, it's gonna spew out outside. We'll go watch that really quick, and then uh, it's definitely not gonna leak because Corey's a genius. <laughs> Corey, if you're watching this, please leave a comment on the video. <laughs> if your name's Corey and you're a plumber and you do a little excess glue on the outside of your fittings, we'd like to have a word with you. <laughs> See. Corey helped us slow down the leak, but uh, with that much pressure, it still has a little teeny tiny pinhole. So now we just got back from Home Depot <laughs> and now we need more parts from Home Depot. What? You didn't get those parts just in case? No, I thought that the Corey bead was going to do the trick, <sighs> but it definitely didn't. All right, I have an idea. Corey. <laughs> Corey might not even be a real guy. He's a real guy. A guy I used to work with worked with him. <laughs> problem pieces cut out for the second time and uh, now we got our our 60 and our 22 and a half degree they're in they're ready they're look like there's plenty of glue in there so there's absolutely no way it can leak so I think we've uh, eradicated the problem uh, the only issue is we should probably wait at least a while for this glue to set up before we fill this up and pressure test it. Leo finally took a little bit of a nap. These guys actually ran to Home Depot and got the right fittings. I cleaned up the house and everybody is back awake, ready to party. And we have a few special guests that have just arrived as well. How you doing? You got a snowball. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that the first snow you've seen all year? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hello! Oh, hi, hi. Look who we have here! Oh, who's, that? who's that boy? Who's hi, that? Leo. Lumberjack Leo. That's Nana's outfit that she got for him. Oh. How you doing, Leo? Did you just wake up from a nap? Yes. How was the ride up? Oh, it's great. It was great. Hi, yeah, little guy. Good. The one thing that I've slowly realized and just accepted after having had a baby is your parents immediately do not care about you anymore. <laughs> they only go straight to the baby. Let me hold the baby. Let me talk to the baby. Chop liver over here. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi sweetheart. It's fine. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's, it's, what's your name? Yeah. Like, things change. It's adorable. How much progress did you get done with that fitting? It's done. We're just, Success. We're just waiting for the glue we to dry. We gotta test it still. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It had a 60 degree fitting at Home Depot. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it's 60 degrees outside because that's what it feels like. It does feel like 60 degrees. <laughs> Drain test number three. Third time's the charm. Hi. <laughs> yeah. There it is. That, that means the entire system is full up to that part right there. Wow. And then some. And then some. All right, we're coming in on leak detection duty. I think we're leak free. 
Really? It's supposed to hold pressure for 20 minutes, I think. No leak is in here. Just Frank's. Just Frank's. Frankly, there's no leakers. <laughs> Getting dry? Yeah. Looking like we've done it. Wow. Oh yeah. We did it. Nice job, no guys. Third time's the charm again. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, plumbing supply lines will be a lot easier and we still have a chance to have a flawless victory on our plumbing bathroom and like kitchenette thing that's gonna be in the addition over here. Yeah. So I'm hoping. Flawless victory. I'm hoping we're gonna put those fittings together and we're gonna test it and it's gonna be perfect the first time. So anyway, I think uh, it's probably gonna do it for us as far as the plumbing goes. All right guys, we have had quite the day here. We ended up kind of hanging out with Russell and Leslie and spending the evening with them. We had an amazing dinner, but honestly, I am like so relieved yeah. that we got the plumbing fittings fixed. It's over, we did it. And we didn't even have to do a quarry bead. <laughs> Silver lining. I mean, we tried to do a Cory B, but it didn't work, okay? <laughs> Corey's a genius, but his method didn't work for us. But we did get the correct fittings. We yep. got everything glued together. It's going to pass inspection. I'm done with plumbing drain lines. <laughs> I mean, I still got to do them for the addition, but... We're, yeah. done, we're done with the main part, yeah, so that's true. I'm excited about that. If you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure with us today, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios! This summer I'll be by your side.